Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our newsletter. And this is the Meet the Team edition with Patty DeBoe. Hi, Patty. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing today, Babak? Great. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you too. And we're so close. We're in the same state right now, which is very exciting. Hours away. <laughs> Well, we can get started with our first question here. It was a sort of an intro about yourself. Tell us how you get started in your career, you know, some fun tidbits. So I um, am originally from Philadelphia, where I grew up, went to college. I actually went to college to study art and theater, but then changed my mind and got a math degree halfway through college. And so I started my career doing data modeling um, in the insurance industry. Uh, I did forecasting of natural disasters like hurricanes and tornadoes and stuff sounds really cool it was very hard for me to just sit at a desk all day and look at numbers and so um, while I learned a lot um, I decided to go on to business school to do something a little bit different and found my way into consulting from there so that's how I got my start um, but have always really loved doing work in the social sectors so that's how I found my way to PTKO. Nice. I that's my favorite question or favorite thing to do with everyone is I find out like where they how they got here. It's always interesting. Yeah, it's not what I thought I'd be doing when I went to college to study art, but uh who mm. knows? <laughs> because of your brains, you went creative and then numbers. Like Yes. I find that both of those skills still help me in my career today. So <laughs> you know, you gotta make the slides look good. Um, what is something people should know about you? Aside from work, I guess I I'm a pretty voracious reader, and I really love to read dystopian and apocalyptic fiction. <laughs> it's maybe a little bit depressing, but I find it fascinating, perhaps because I know like I will not survive when this happens. I don't I don't anticipate being the person like living in the woods and foraging for my own food, but I'm very curious about, you know, the people who think they could do, do those things. And so that's one of the ways that I check out and relax is nice. reading about the apocalypse. <laughs> Maybe reading all these books will help you in the apocalypse when it's time. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah. My partner and I, we have a pact that we're just like, if this if stuff really goes down, we're like going out in the first phase. It's like, I don't know that I want to be foraging for food and fending off. Juliet style. Uh, what is one thing you're passionate about? Or two, one or two. <laughs> Yeah, I am very passionate in general about kind of giving back, um, you know, it's sort of how I found my way to uh, into social sector, nonprofit sector work. Um, you know, I think many of us um, that do this sort of work bring that passion to it. But um, I've always been involved in in sort of nonprofit work. And I, I credit some of my very early mentors, you know, even early in my career, I was working in insurance and um, some folks I knew got me involved uh, with the human rights campaign as a volunteer and then a board member. Um, and that really just like spurred this whole desire to to give back and work on the social issues that really affect not just me, but, you know, others uh, in our world. And so Today, one of the places that I pour a lot of my passion is I'm a, a board member at the District Alliance for Safe Housing, which provides housing and services for survivors of domestic and sexual violence. And that feels really important to me because housing is so fundamental. Like mm -hmm. it just is a thing I wish we could get right as a society that like, you know, it's the housing, shelter, like people need it. And it's hard to expect people to, you know, uh, thrive without it. And so that has been really work I felt really connected to. I've been working with them for almost six years. So nice. yeah. Very cool. Love that. Uh, how do you show up for people you love? I think in general, I am very giving of my time to those people that I love, you know, and that can be in all sorts of ways. I mean, I try to give people what they need, you know, so if friends are going through something tough, whether that's like a listening ear or cooking food for people. I do. I like to feed people. <laughs> That's just like something I was taught in my family. But if I ever know folks having a rough time, I will just like bring them some delicious food because I love to cook. It's beautiful. I agree. Except for the cooking. I hate cooking. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I can, I can bring some delicious food to you. Mm, yeah, maybe when I need it. <laughs> and our last one here, just like our podcast, what's the song that uh, uplifts you, gets you going, motivates you? 
Yeah, this one's really hard because maybe this should have been my fun fact, but I am like a Spotify playlist junkie. I love to make playlists. Um, I don't know, maybe it was like growing up in the like 80s mixtape era where like curating a playlist. I think I was scanning through my list just before we got on. I think I'm going to pick um, I Love It by Icona Pop and Charlie XCX. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's such a good, like, you can't hear that song and not just start dancing. It's That's so very good. thumpy, thumpy. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. I spend maybe an inordinate amount of time making playlists on Spotify. So this was a hard question, but um, I really love the evolution of our Spotify playlist from all our folks. So good song choice. I like that a lot. It'll be fun to add to the playlist for our community. So that's good. Thank you for joining us today, Patty. It was nice having you. Thanks for having me. And uh, thank you all for joining us and watching the Meet the Team interview with Patty. Have a great day. Have a good day, everyone.